My name is Simon and this is how to build a racing car. As you would have seen over the course of this series, I've had a lot of assistance in getting this car built and ready to race. I wanted to repay those that had put in their time and effort, and nothing seemed more appropriate than giving them a drive in the car. So to that end, I invited Ray who helped with the bodywork, Kyle who did the CFD and aero design, and my father who helped throughout the project, along for a drive. Ray was unable to make it, so that left the other two with a whole day of driving to themselves. For my father, it wasn't just his first time in a racing car, it was his first time on a track of any sort. He was going to be first up, but we ran out of time trying to get the belts fitted, so Kyle instead headed out for the first session. I gave him a quick rundown of the car while we waited for the track to go green, and he headed out for the first time. Carl has had a little bit of experience on the track before in a road car and races an off-road buggy. He spent the first session getting a feel for the car. Once he got back in, my father jumped in and had to drive around the pits to get his head around the car, since it's totally unlike anything he's ever driven before. It was unfortunate for him that he was simply too tall to fit comfortably, but he was still able to operate the controls and so headed out for his first session on track. I, for once, got to watch my car from the outside without any pressure or stress at all. Normally I'd be thinking about the next session or working on the car or just driving the car and so I'd never really been able to stop and appreciate it. It was a surprisingly enjoyable experience. As the day went on we made a few changes here and there, removing the seat back for instance to make it a bit easier for them to shift gear. Kyle had a target in his head of 1 minute and 15 seconds which session by session he got closer to. For my father he simply wanted to have a go and he too gradually increased his speed. By the end of the day, Kyle had reached his target of a 1 minute 15 and my father was starting to push hard enough that he even had a couple of spins. And for me, I just really enjoyed watching my car. Like I said, I'd not normally be able to stop and appreciate it, but here I finally was. Watching it drive around made me really proud actually, and it was great to see these two enjoying it as well. Kyle had the last session of the day. He almost got to the end of his session before the car stopped out on track. I'd become too relaxed it seems and forgotten to refill it before the session. Whoops. Luckily he managed to come to a halt on the pit entry road and so once the marshals pushed him back into the pit lane, I was able to push him back to the carport. Anyway, that was a pretty interesting day. I hope you've enjoyed watching.